Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, multiples of all types. I found another person who in this room again. Oh, I, I got caught in mouth, man. I gotta get <laughs> He's back. Um, today we are taking apart a uh, HD. Uh, sorry, I got a little tongue tabulation there. HMDX three zero one three. We're gonna see how she how she works, what she does, uh, and more importantly, how the fuck she comes apart. Um, don't really feel any screws on the bottom. Is she on the bottom? Where are you? There we are. There we are. Uh, so yeah, I'm back, boys. I'm back after a couple weeks hiatus. A uh, couple a couple relatives dying. Uh, work giving me the shits. Oh, I feel something there. That's definitely something there. Hello, hello, Missy. This might be a this might be a job for the super glue. You know what? Fuck it. Who cares? Oh man, your house always smells so nice. I know, right? Should we close this garage door? Why? I don't know. Alright, so so basically, if you ever encounter something you can't get apart, always look to the weakest point. Yeah, that's what I think. Right figured. there, right there. <laughs> I figured there was there was some hidden screws. If I couldn't just get the thing to just pop. The apart, screw screws. They're gonna be hidden underneath that shit. <laughs> How much you wanna bet they're uh they're Phillips? Yeah. You, um, you want to go for a Phillips head screwdriver there? I don't want to take that back because I think they're Phillips as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now they're going to be some weird fucking... Um, Anti-Torx heads with the ones with the fucking uh, uh, center star pattern in them. Hex screws or whatever bullshit. Alright, so it's four screws taking this bottom portion apart. Right? And I got a nice, nice little white backdrop, courtesy of Proposition A. That's Coroplast. Really? Yeah, that's when I worked at the print shop. That's when we. That's what that shit's called. Does it? Does it, does it connect photosynthesis and shit? I don't know why what? the fuck it's called that. <laughs> okay. That's just, I think. I think maybe because it's like corrugated plastic or something. You know, because it's like, it's, it's almost like cardboard in the way that it's, but it's plastic. I don't fucking know. Wait a minute, cause, uh, I, I can see the lines being in here, too. I mean, you, 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 if you ever look at this shit, it's, it, it, um, it's like quarter-inch, uh, um, like like what you said, pl plastic. Plastique. Okay, so we have a couple buttons in here. We have uh, uh, buttons... Except the toggle switches, what have you, and then we have the out the outskirt buttons. Uh, did these light up at all by any chance? Uh, there's there's one light that blinks when you turn it on, and then there's another light that just glows red until it glows green when you have it charging. Hello, mama. Okay, so we have. I like how the little battery indicator on the side that's above the uh, the light that. It's the battery light is just painted on there too. Like <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It is a <laughs> cheap ass shit. I love that stuff. Though. Step your game up, boys. <laughs> like it would have just been better if they didn't do that and it was just the light. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to represent that's the battery indicator light. I get it, but I mean I mean show some just, just put on a fucking show or something like that. So that means that means you're, if you're way down low, uh, come on, come on. Yeah, I wish that it like, lit up or did something, but I'm sure that's you know. I mean, we can make it light up. I'm sure. If he got it at uh, you know a flea market for a few bucks, I'm not expecting. You know. Oh, I missed one. Shit. Okay. Anything amaze balls, but. Check behind the super glue. <laughs> Pretty sure that's super glue. Yep, that's definitely super glue. I thought it'd be pretty funny to maybe like you know pull out the oh fuck yeah dude the the Bluetooth sensor and break that up or something I guess. I mean we could probably we could probably attach this to your uh, to, to your awesome little 
Oh, Crosley, Crosley over there. Oh, there we go. All right. The record player. What, yeah. So what effect? So what, I guess so you could pair your your phone to your fucking record player. Oh yeah. man. Uh, Going high tech there, boys. I don't even. I don't even want to buy one of those. An all-in-one like that. I'd rather have just this unit as it is that you're tearing apart. We should have just left it as it was. All right. So looks like we looks like we have a. All right. That's 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 hold us back. We have a speaker that's standard thirty. Sorry, three ohm, three watt speaker down here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we get some cheech in that chotch. Oh. Hello. Just a three ohm, three watt. Nice little janky subwoofer there, or or or, or medium range to uh, to high range. Nice, nice coil on her. Complete with oh, standard, no, that's a crossover wire, maybe a 3K resistor. Yeah, it's all oh, we're gonna see every night. It gets pretty tinny, but like it gets pretty loud. Like in the high ranges or in the low ranges? Like loud. Like it kind gets, of... mm, you know, when, when people say tinny, I usually attribute to that like it gets very trebly. It's not very bassy, but what do you expect from you know the thing that size? Um, not much, honestly. Yeah. Not much. All right. So the nice thing about about everything being kind of glued together simultaneously is that it, it, they 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 start on the low end uh, by by simulating everything. They glue the four wires in place, or and then they transfer it down to two because you you essentially have uh, primary and a uh, and a ground wire because this operates off off a simple DC circuit, and then it kind of kind of goes into place from there. Thank you, car. Yeah, like when you listen to music on the thing, it's a little hard to notice the little subtleties because it sounds you know too high. Sounds um, too high. But when you listen to um, hey, podcasts, you know what? It gets loud and it's. I have an good. idea. I have an idea. Um, just, just about how I'm, I'm getting a little soft. I'm getting a little tubby. I mean, not, I'm not like overweight, but I'm, you know, it's starting to. I, I no longer have defined abs or anything. Who does? Um, but I noticed it the other day. You know, when I, when I was crossing the street in an intersection, and a car pulled up, and I did that faux fast walk. Whoa, Yahtzee. Um. You know, that probably takes more time to get across the street that way, but you're like, oh, I gotta look like I'm, I'm hustling. Attempting to, 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 to move? And in doing so, I noticed that I had a little bit of a titty bounce, and I was like, <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't like that one bit. I gotta start <laughs> jogging and... Doing some push-ups or whatever. God damn it! <laughs> this week's special brought to you by Mr. Rose. <laughs> Mr. Rose, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but, um, that's that seems too familiar. I'm sure that has to oh, be a no. joke that somebody's done before. I've I've had a titty bounce since college, man. It's it's not because of the girls. It's because of me. No, I know it's because I'm getting fat, and I'm not, there's no, there's no joke around that. And then I got to the end of the curb, and I had a six-pack, and, you know, I was Fabio. What? Like, no, I, I'm still a fat piece of shit. I, I don't, I don't get the beer commercials that are like, oh yeah, have a great time, drink our beer. And there's all these, like, nice, handsome people go, uh, uh, going about, you know, dr drinking a six-pack of, you know, uh, select your poison, and every beer drink that I've encountered has always been like a fat fucking piece of shit. It's it's always like bloated beyond all belief, and it, it it's just not been fun. And I started drinking, I became one of those people too, as you can tell by the hands. That's why I always drink hard alcohol. 
<laughs> um, and now that I've quit drinking, now I'm fat. But I mean, I got fat while I was drinking that shit too, like any what, alcohol. What how hard alcohol? Well, I mean, cause it's a it, it's it's inflammatory. On oh, focus, you fuck. But I was skinny because I was drinking so much that I was sick all the time. You know, I'd be, I'd eat something and then get shitty and then I'd puke it all up like a few hours later. You're essentially or bulimic, the next right? Morning. What? Said so you were essentially bulimic, right? I suppose. I mean, I wasn't trying to be. It was just effect of hashtag know, me too. So much. I might be fuck. There we go. So what I'm doing uh, t to the speakers, I'm I, 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 I'm pushing in the the sleeping bag principle. The, if you have deadening in the in, in the subwoofer encasing in your trunk, you're able to to to, to deafen the sound a little bit to, to to give a little more bass bass reaction. I have no idea what you're talking about. Really. I know no one does. No one does. That's that's why I'm here. I'm taking your word for it. If I could just find the fucking hole, there has to be some fucking hair on it. Well, because there's a there's a speaker, there's a baffle, there's might be trying to screw in the wrong fucking hole. Man, I was talking to my uncle, and I think he was telling me that he has like some like Commodore computer from the 80s or something that's like you know the first briefcase kind of deal a commodore 64 like i don't think it's a 64 like i, I think maybe it was 